Hello everyone, so in this tutorial, I will show you how to create a fire detection model from scratch using YOLO V8. YOLO is a powerful object detection algorithm that can quickly and accurately detect objects in images and in videos as well. With this tutorial, you will learn how to prepare your data, train your model and test it accurately. By the end of this video, you will have a fully functional fire detection model that you can use to enhance the safety and security of your home or business. Follow along and discover how easy it is to build your own custom fire detection model using Euro version 8. Alrighty guys, so welcome to the official video on training your own object detection model using YOLO. So in this tutorial, we are going to take a look at how you can take your own dataset and train a YOLO object detection model. So to begin with, we have to search for our data we'll be using. And since this is a tutorial, we'll just head over to Kaggle.com where we can get already made data so in the browser here yeah, i just search for fire data set yolo format on kaggle so we just head over to kaggle and download the data set we'll be using okay so here is a data set we'll be using and you can see it's from roboflow so if you have been using yolo you can attest to it that roboflow have been doing amazing job so you can head over to roboflow.com to learn new stuff for yourself Okay, so just sign up for our account and download this data set. So just hit download and you'll get it in a zip format. So I've already downloaded this. So we'll just continue and I'll show you how to extract this zip file. So when you come to desktop, this is the zip file I'm having here. And go ahead and extract it. Right click and just click on extract here. And you'll get new folders we have test validation that's valid train and data file so i'll just create a new folder here i'll just call it data and in here i'll just move these three folders and the one file into it so we just move all into data so let's go ahead now and explore our data so if we open, you can see in test, we have images. So these are the image of fire burning at certain places that we are going to use. Though the data is not that sufficient. So in your own use case, you can make available many data. So many images and they are labeled. So these are their corresponding label, labels. Right, and when you come to test and train, it's the same thing we have the images so this is the image we'll be using to train our model and since it's a training data it has to be sufficient or it has to be more than that of your testing data we'll go ahead and also see its corresponding labels and then we'll move back to our validation data so it also contains image and labels as well okay so the important thing here is this data file, data.yaml file. So this contains whatever we are going to treat. And this must remain like this. You don't have to change it. So in this our case, we have train and this is the power for train. So we train forward slash image, the same for validation. Then the number of class we are going to detect now is only fire, so it's only one. And the names. We have modifier so so in case you have your data set and you're having different classes then you have to put fire let's say then you have another like cat you just have to click cat and also change the number of classes to so in this case but we are only doing it for fire so you just have to keep fire in this case so that's all and i have to close this one now okay so the next step here is to move this your data file into your google drive 
so that when we are using Google Colab, we can get access to this data and just train our custom model. So this is also easy to do. Just open your Google Drive. So you just have to drag and drop it here and it will start uploading. So I've gone ahead and uploaded this so you can see is the data here and it's what exactly we are going to be using. So what we can do is that we can open this data file here and you can see it contains the exact same thing we have in our data file. So you can see we have the validation which contains labels and images. You go back, open train, which also contains labels. So it's the exact thing I've just uploaded into my Google Drive. And you have to do so if you want to use Google Colab to train your model. And the reason we'll be using Google Colab is that we'll get free access to GPU, which will accelerate our model train. So now that we have our data in Google Drive, we just go ahead now and open Google Colab. So this type of Google Colab. Then we hit enter. Go ahead and open a new notebook. So I have to go ahead and change this account to my account. So this is my account. And then what I have to do here is to create a new note we'll be using for this particular tutorial. Okay, so here is the new note we'll be using for this tutorial. And what we have to go ahead and do now is to mount our drive. So I'll open here and you see the drive symbol here. So you just click on it and it will tell you mounting your drive. You have to confirm and it will mount your Google Drive so that you can have access to the data we have in our Google Drive. Okay, so once the drive is mounted, you can see we have extra file here. So we can go to drive, go to my drive, and then now we have access to our stops here. So we can see we have our data, and in here we have test train validation and the data.yaml file. So we can close this out now and we'll go ahead and write some code. So the first thing we'll do is to check our run time so we can just go to run time here and we can change run time and we'll set it to is non by default so we we'll set it to gpu and then click save so now we we are getting access to gpu free gpu in this case which we use so we can confirm that by typing nvidia explanation up the all so nvidia S and I and click enter. So we'll run this cell to check what happened. So we'll run this cell to check whether we are we access to GPU and you can see yes. So we have the access to GPU here. So we can now go ahead and I can clear this one off. We can add a new cell and the next step is to install YOLO. So you will just have to type tip install neutralities. So you click enter. So you can run this cell now and YOLO will be installed. So it will take some time depending on your data speed. So actually training your own model is very easy than you expect, you just need about three lines of code to do that. So you will have successfully been installed. We'll add another code line. And what we'll do now is to import it. So we'll see from Autralytics, we are going to import YOLO. So you write or cap YOLO, just like this. Okay. so. This is how you have to write it. You can run this cell to check. Our YOLO is properly installed. And you can see we have to check map for all the lines we've run so far. That means we are doing good. So the last line here is the line we need to train. We need to use to train our model. So to train your model, we have to just write exclamation mark to YOLO in lowercase. So you write YOLO 
Then the tax you are going to perform. So the tax you are going to perform is detection. So you just write detect. The term mode you are going to use. So our mode here is to train. After the mode, you need to choose your model. So the model type. We have different model types. So our model type we want to use now is the nano version. So we have the large, the medium, and the nano version. So we'll use the nano version because we need speed while we we are using our model, so we just have to write YOLO V8 because we are using YOLO version 8. And for Nando, you just type N. If you want to use the large model, you just write L here, which stands for large. So we are using Nando dot et. Then the next thing is to give the directory to where your data is. So for that, the simple thing you have to do is to come here. Then open my drive. Then you open my data and then you copy. Right click here and copy the path. Just come here and paste this path in. So you can see our data is in content, drive, my drive, data, and then data.yaml file. Okay, after this, you have to give epochs like how many iterations. So this data tree. So you specify it box and you give a value. So you can give a higher value and this data will train over and over and over and over. But I also have early stopping. So in case it's training and it, it sees no improvement in your data for some number of times, it will automatically stop training. So in this case, let's specify 30 because I've already trained this same model that we use. So I'm just showing you how to train so I'm just enter something like let's do a 15 so that it will train early and you can see for yourself then after that we have to specify the image size so imgz to start for image size then go with 640 in this case so let's write to 640 and guess what we are done so this is all you need to train your file so after this we'll run this if we have error get it if we don't it will kick off and start training so we are having some errors here and let me check the lines oh, okay so we need to specify here that this is our data so we have to write our data is equal to this so that is our data we need to specify that this is the directory for our data and let's run this again and i hope this time around it will train we got error once again let me cross check images this should be images and not image images wow so guys we keep on getting this error because we don't have equal to sign here tax is equal to detect mode is this so let's give it a try i made a lot of mistake writing this up so let's try it this time around and you can see it has started training so it's downloading some stuff and it will train so let's see what we'll get okay, so it's now reading our images in in the train file so it's loading all the images there so this will take a while to train so guys i'll be right back after the training so guys i'm back and this is still training so it has just started training now it took a lot of time loading in the images it's now training and we are at the first epoch so we still have to give this some time so i'm going on the second break and i'll be back right after this Okay guys, so as you can see, we are done training, so everything is successful. So the good thing is that it will also show you where your results are saved. So it said results are saved to RAS detect train directory. So you just have to click on the file icon here and we can locate our run where let's see. So you can see we have the run folder here. And then you open your detect folder up 
you open your train yes that and you can see so what we need here is our weights and this weight will be stored in the weights folder so we have the last and the best so this is the best performing weight and all you have to do here is to download it so you click on download and it will get downloaded but before that we can also have a look at some training data here so we can have the f1 curve so you can see this is how it looks you can also this is not showing i don't know how to drag it but just know that we have other caves you can see the confusion matrix which is very important you can also take a look at it it's not showing well in color i don't know why but you can download it and also take a look at it so you can click download and download it and look at it how well your model is trained so all we need here is the weight file i just went ahead and downloaded it so with these simple steps we are able to train our custom model and we are now going to run inference on it and check whether it's going to detect fire so we are now done with google cola we've downloaded our weights so all we have to do now is to open our PyCharm and write some code so actually i said write some code but we are not going to write code because we already have the code for this remember we had a video on how to run yolo in your IDE, yolo v is to be specific so we are just going to leverage that same code and change the width file in that video then we can just change the class so i've already prepared a script for that which i'll open because it is on desktop here so fire detection and here is it so what i'll do is create a new file here so new python file and i'll just name this file file and i'll copy the same code and paste it there so i'll paste this same code here and get rid of that file so this is the code we'll be using and there is nothing new apart from the width so our width here is fire.pt when you download it is best.pt so we can also go to our download files so let's see downloads and you can see this is the best.pt file we've downloaded from google collab so i just change the name i rename it just brought it in into pycharm so instead of loading the normal yolo model we are going to load fire.pt and also I have a video file here called fire2.mp4 which we are going to run the inference on and this code is pretty much the same code we've used in how to run YOLO in the IDE so the link to that video will be in the description and it will also be somewhere at the top here so you can take a look at it so that you understand this code better and also the whole code will be on my github repository where you can visit and download it and use it for yourself okay so that's pretty much it and also what you have to do here is that in that tutorial we have classes.tst which contains many classes but in this case you just have to delete all everything there and just do classes is equal to fire because it's only fire that we want to detect so that is the changes we've made so far and now we can go ahead and test this out and see how best it will detect fire so i'll run this run this and we can see let's see okay so this school is detecting fire already and you can see the detection is just good i have another video file we'll try this on to check how well it will perform this too but i think it's correctly detecting that is fire wow so this, this is nice is performing good with our 57 the accuracy is just jumping from here and there and if you want a much higher accuracy then you need a lot of data you need to train this on a huge number of images containing fire so that is the video let's run it on the second video file which is fire 2 okay that's this is fire 2 so let's do fire 4 so but the next video is fire 4 so let's run it on fire 4 wow so you can see how well is the 13 on fire 4 
So I think the model is working great at detecting fire. Okay, it's getting some detections. So I think this can be improved by just training it on more data or huge number of images containing fire. So guys, this is how easy it is to train your own object detection model using YOLO. And you can see this is very easy. So all credits to Autralytics for making this possible by using few lines of code. And this is the main reason why I love the YOLO version 8 because it's very easy to use, very easy to train on your custom data set. And you, you can attest that by yourself. We just have to go through few steps to achieve this. So if you like this video, guys, do your best to subscribe, give me a like, write your comments. I'll be more than glad to reply you guys. So thanks for watching. And I know you are probably going to share this with two or more people. Thank you once again, and I will see you in the next tutorial.